Hello everyone, I hope you're all keeping well and uh, welcome Croeso to this very brief introduction for the semester one module on the National MA Education, a Marve and Hoysol and a Dosbarth Inclusive Classroom Practice. So uh, as we go through this brief presentation, I just want to give you a little bit of information before we meet for our induction session in terms of where you'll find information that you need as you go through the programme. A little bit of information about the assignment that you will be submitting towards the end of the programme and also in terms of how you will work through the programme in terms of self-supported study and times where we will meet as a national cohort and times where we will meet as a smaller Swansea University cohort. So just uh, as a brief introduction, you will, um, once the enrolment process has been completed, have access to two different places in which you will find information. So one of them is PebblePad and PebblePad uh, you will access through the, your uh, Education Workforce Council EWC account using your normal um, EWC login details. So everyone who's completing this module across all the universities in Wales will have access to that same PLP information point so that it's consistent for everyone. You will also have access to Canvas on Swansea University, which is specific to us and which will contain a little bit more in terms of the kind of the logistical aspects of the course. So rather than the learning materials necessarily, this is where we will have our kind of overview and checklists. This is where we'll have information relating to links to where and when we will meet online. And this is also where you will submit your assignment at the end of the module. So just as a quick reminder, you should hopefully have access to PebblePad through your EWC work account and you should be able to see the module uh, within your resources section. Um, once you access Canvas, which is the Swansea University specific virtual learning environment for the first time, um, it may take up to 24 hours for you to get access to the module itself. So um, this slide then just gives a quick screenshot of what you will see when you log into uh, your Swansea University Canvas account. So you will need to log into your Swansea University account with your Swansea University login details. And when you click onto the module, for example, on Canvas, you will see a home page which gives a little bit of a welcome and an introduction about the module. And you will find things like the course um, module handbook and timetable and so on. Looking down this um, list of things on the left hand side of the screen, you can see there there is a section called modules. And what you'll find for the modules will be a link to weekly prompts and tasks, as well as further information relating to um, the assignment, for example. You will see here a link that will take you to the assignment submission point. You will see a link that will take you to the reading list for the programme. And you can also see here there is an announcement section, which I will post announcements and messages to you as a group as we go through the programme. So Canvas then is the Swansea University specific virtual learning environment. The other uh, area where you will get information, as I said, will be PebblePad or PLP, and you will find this when you log into your Education Workforce Council account, and this should be located in your resources section. Now, when you open up the, um, the module on PebblePad, you will see this kind of toolbar at the top of the screen. And you will see here, for example, course strands one, two, three and four that we will work through um, in a kind of asynchronous fashion going through the module and if you click on each of these course strands at the top of the page 
it will open up then the substrands that come underneath. So core strand one, for example, will be looking at debates around inclusion and education. And when you click on that, you will see that there are a range of substrands that uh, will open up for you. Again, looking at this toolbar at the top of the screen, you will see here, for example, there will be headers such as National Saturday Resources. And I'll talk to you briefly about those a little later. So this is where you'll find information relating to our National Conference Saturday sessions. And again, you will see here some information relating to the assignment guidance. So again, as a recap, Canvas is the Swansea specific information that you will log into your Swansea University account to access with your Swansea University email and password. Pebblepad then is the uh, material that everyone who's studying the module um, across the seven different universities involved will see when you log into your Education Workforce um, Council account. So we've mentioned briefly then where you'll find information. I just want to spend a couple of minutes um, going through what the assignment for this module entails. And the assignment for this module is a 4,000 word written piece. And the heading is to create strategies to support inclusive classroom practice and to offer a reflection of their effectiveness in the classroom. We will talk about the assignment and guidance in more detail as we go through the programme, but in brief, you will be asked to identify and discuss up to three strategies that you personally have implemented in your teaching to support inclusive classroom practice. Now, this could be to support learning, this could be to support behaviour, this could be to support social emotional development, this could be to support well-being. The key thing is, is that you have to have implemented these strategies. They don't have to be strategies that you have made up yourself, um, but as long as you have implemented these within your teaching and can reflect upon the why you implemented them, how you implemented them and whether or not they were effective, then that will allow you to answer the assignment. So just going over the assignment in a little bit more detail, the assignment is split into two sections. So section one, which will be approximately 500 words, and I would say in reality somewhere between 500 and 750 words, will give you the opportunity to provide an overview of your setting and inclusion in your setting and make links back to debates around uh, inclusion. The second part of the assignment then will be the 3,500 or 3,250 words that you have left. And you will be asked to uh, identify a reflective theory to structure your response. And we'll talk about those when we meet um, in our sessions and draw upon literature to support your discussion around the strategy or strategies that you are going to discuss that you have used to support inclusion within your classroom or within your setting. So in your reflection, you should, for example, identify and describe the strategies that you are going to discuss to support inclusive classroom practice. So, for example, was there a particular reading intervention that you might have introduced in your classroom to support learners with dyslexia? So you will consider how you have used the strategy in practice and what purpose were these strategies aiming uh, for? What were the challenges faced by the learners and how did the strategies that you implement address those needs? Were there particular strategies that you faced or learners faced, for example, with those strategies being implemented? And you will be asked to explore the application of that uh, strategy in a wider context. Uh, for example, if there was, was something that worked well in your particular setting or within your particular classroom, what could you do as necessary to um, spread that strategy further? Uh, within your practice and within your setting? And are there any ways that you can challenge current practice and influence change in your setting?
In terms of the assessment process, so we've mentioned briefly what the assignment looks like for this module. Everyone on the module will have uh, up to two attempts to pass the module. A 50% mark is a pass. So 50 to 59 would score a mark in the pass boundary. 60 to 69 is a merit and anything over 70 would be classed as a distinction. Um, if the worst comes to the worst and your assignment did not pass at its first attempt, you would have a second attempt. However, regardless of what the assignment would have scored, it would be capped at a maximum of 50 and all assignments will be submitted through Canvas to Swansea University. As we go through the programme, you will get support and be taught in a range of different ways. And the first one to mention is that there will be two national conference days which will take place on a Saturday. And there will be one in October and one in November. Now, it would be nice to be able to all meet together face to face in person. However, that's quite challenging um, in relation to the fact that we have people, staff and students working together from seven of the universities across Wales. So trying to find a physical space to meet is probably difficult. Um, therefore, these two national conference days will take place on Teams. And just as a brief outline, the aim will be that we will start at 9.30, so there'll be an introduction and welcome session where we will also make links to the assignment, for example. In the morning, then from 10 to 11.30 will be the first session, and the first session will link in particular to what you might have been talking about or looking at in relation to uh, Core Strands 1, for example, for the first Saturday. There will be an Ask the Expert session where we will either have uh, an external practitioner or an external academic who will present and have a question and answer session. And then in the afternoon, we follow up then with thinking about what the next um, course strand was. And there is a recap and reflection and next step section at the end of each day as well then to consider what it is you need to do. Um, to keep up to date. So in addition to those two National Conference Saturday sessions, as a Swansea cohort specifically, we will also arrange four drop-in sessions, which are optional, and we will look to either have these on Zoom or Teams, depending upon your preference as a group, and we will also try and fit in four optional assignment drop-in sessions, again remotely on Zoom or Teams. So the aim of those initial sessions is to kind of touch base with each other, see how you're getting on with the activities that you'll find and the readings on PLP, um, whilst the four remaining ones then will be to take that information and your learning and to give each other some support in terms of the assignment. So at the moment, it's up to us as a group, realistically, to come together and work out and agree when would work best in terms of us having those drop in sessions. So when we meet for the first time at induction, we will have a think about when uh, would be best for you as a group. And very often this ends up being what is the least worst option for us as a group. So we will timetable these at some point after the school day. So we will look to see what the most appropriate times would be. And we can be quite flexible realistically between kind of 3 and 7 p.m. And we will also think about what days of the week would be the best to um, fit those in as well. So I'm going to stop babbling for now. Uh, I look forward to meeting you soon and working with you as we go through the module. Uh, once you've been on to the Canvas page uh, through your Swansea University account, you will see my email address and contact details. So if you do have any questions or concerns, then please just get in touch.